When I speak at conferences, people often come to me and ask me how to develop a strong personality. Having a strong personality isn't so much about being dominant or loud. It's about knowing your worth. It's about self-assurance and commanding the respect in a way that inspires others. It's about living authentically and confidently. Over time, I have learned and developed incredibly effective strategies that have helped me on this journey to building a strong personality. And in today's video, I will share 14 key principles that can truly transform the way you carry yourself and interact with the world. Before we get started, a reminder to 90% of you who haven't yet subscribed to my channel to do so now and click on the notification bell icon so that you can access my videos as soon as I release them. We are less than 200 subscriptions away from a big 2000 subscribers mark and your support would mean the world to me. And now that we have you subscribed, let's get started. First is to never go back to people who cheat you. Now, this is about self-respect and setting boundaries. And it's true for both personal relationships as well as professional relationships. Someone who cheats breaks the trust in a very fundamental way. I've learned that people who cheat or hurt you once often repeat it again. So I have learned to forgive but not forget whether it's in personal life or professional life. We all deserve people in our life who value loyalty and commitment. Going back often leads to a cycle of hurt and diminished self-worth and makes you feel less confident and less strong as an individual. The second is to never let people disrespect you. It's about establishing healthy boundaries. Disrespect can be subtle. It can be a small remark. It can be being constantly interrupted in work meetings or in regular conversations or having your opinions dismissed. But this disrespect disrespect can chip away your confidence and make you appear weak. I've learned to recognize signs of disrespect and address it assertively. It took me some time to realize that you can actually teach people how to treat you. Third is to never shake hands while sitting down. In a professional setting, it's a small but very powerful gesture. When I started in the corporate world, I remember noticing that the most respected leaders often stood up to greet others. It shows that you're present. It shows that you're attentive and you're engaged. It might seem like a very small detail, but the impact is significant. The fourth is to never go broke to impress others. True confidence doesn't come from outward display of wealth. Financial stability and living within your means is far more rewarding and brings more gravitas to you and brings more strength in your personality. Early in my career, I felt the pressure to keep up and spend on things that I really didn't need. But as I grew in my professional career, I realized that the true self-worth has nothing to do with material possessions. Focus on building genuine, lasting confidence. The next is what you have been hearing from me for a while now. Learn something new every day. Staying curious is one of the greatest keys to growth. Whether it's reading an article, listening to a podcast or learning from a conversation, I try to learn something new every single day. This habit keeps me open-minded and equipped with insights that often come in handy in unexpected ways in conversations and in the keynotes that I deliver. The next is to always have an ambition to be better. Now, I believe that my competition is with myself. I try to be one person better every single day. Now, this is not about perfection. It's about honoring my potential as an individual. This mindset of being one person better every day has fueled many of my career successes and continues to drive me forward. I look forward to waking up every day and be a better version of myself. Seventh is to protect who is behind you and respect who is beside you. Now, when I was a leader at Amazon, we had a leadership principle called don't be a jerk. Loyalty and respect are cornerstones of strong relationships. In the corporate world, I've worked with enough jerks and I really don't want to be one of them. I'm incredibly grateful for my mentors and my sponsors and I do my best to be there for them. And for those who walk this journey beside me, I believe in giving them the respect that they deserve. Life is about building genuine connections, not stepping over people. The eighth strategy that I use is to take a five-second pause after being asked a question. Now, this is one of those small practices with a big impact. Taking a moment before you answer a question allows you to 
truly understand the essence of the question. It allows you to be thoughtful and demonstrates that you value the other person's question. I remember when I started implementing this strategy in the meetings, I realized that pausing gave me the clarity to bring more insight into my response. It is a subtle way to convey confidence and composure. The ninth is to work out every single day. And when I say workout, I mean a physical workout, a mental workout, and a spiritual workout. Your physical, mental, and emotional health is directly linked to how productive you can be. I make it a priority to get moving every day, even if it's a brisk walk or some stretching. I do meditation exercises. I've created a whole video around that, and I know you have liked it very much. But if you haven't seen it yet, I'll make sure to tag it in the description. Now, this habit of working out every single day physically, mentally, and spiritually has helped me manage stress and feel more energized. Prioritizing your health is one of the best ways to show up stronger in every area of your life. The next strategy is to not beg for a relationship. A fulfilling relationship should be built on mutual respect and genuine connection, whether it's friendship or whether it's with your partner. Never compromise on your self-worth by pleading for someone's attention or affection. I've learned that right relationships will flourish without forcing anything. Stay true to yourself, value yourself, and right people will value you for who you are. The next one is, if you're not invited, don't go. Respecting others' boundaries is a sign of maturity. Sometimes events or gatherings or conversations are meant for a specific group of people, and that's perfectly okay. This is a reminder that not every space, every conversation is meant for us, and being content with that reflects our inner security. The next one is to smile often. A genuine smile is the simplest way to make a positive impression. Smiling not only brightens your mood, but also puts others at ease and makes you approachable. I've found that smile can break down barriers, invite warmth into every single conversation. Remember that it's a small gesture that leaves a big impression impact and shows that you're open, confident, and comfortable in your own skin. The next one is to listen, to nod, and to make eye contact while talking to someone. Active listening is such a crucial part of building meaningful connections. I found that when you give someone your full attention, it leaves a lasting impression. Simple gestures like nodding, maintaining eye contact, and showing genuine interest in what others are saying makes them feel valued and respected and makes you appear as a strong personality. And the last one, but definitely not the least, is to build multiple sources of income. I say this multiple times in many of my videos. Financial independence is always empowering. Creating multiple sources of income, it's not just about wealth. It's about security. It's about freedom to make choices. Diversifying your income can provide a sense of security and allow you to take more control of your life and future, which makes you appear as a strong personality. So there you have it. 14 powerful strategies that can help you build a stronger personality. I encourage you to start implementing these into your life one step at a time. Remember, true strength comes from within. It's about self-belief, it's about respect, and it's about continuous growth. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Have a successful week. Bye-bye.